all my appointments, I can't see anyone except Mr. Worthington. Oh, haven't you forgotten something? Good morning. How are all my little pets? You mean your little slogan A slogan, that's our battle. A slow cheer and I. A slogan that will make them buy the things our advertisers try to sell the dear old puppy. The dear old heart in college. Swim with them in a vim suit. Try dance a white bear. Never sit in a vanish chair. Sheer loveliness. Point blank explosion. Watch your boyfriend second the motion. Praise love. A mark of distinction. Lane's lip rouge for alluring misses. One dick is good for a thousand kisses. That's fine, girl. Now on your toes. There's a lot of work to do. Mr. Jones wants that coaster as soon as possible. It's almost ready, Miss Smith. There, that does it. Well, thanks, Doc. Thanks. Is that all I get? Oh, no, honey. You also get the swell pain in the neck. <laughs> Boss, I think it's great. That's great. Now I'll tell you what I think. Oh, you like it, huh? It's all. It's rotten. In fact, it's mediocre. Hey, you're joking, aren't you? I'm joking with tears in my eyes. What do you want us to do? Lose this account? Oh, but the... I'll admit she's an eye. Now I want sly. <laughs> I mean, in line. Mr. Webbington, to see you. Tell him I'll be right there. Now remember, I want an angel. Why? Hello, Mr. Webbington. How are you? Mr. Jones, uh, that parfum the is sweeping the world. Uh, and the girl who represents our product must be the sweetest, the most charming. JP, your troubles are over. We have girls who would make Helen of Troy and Madame Dubai turn over their dress. <laughs> well, that's fine. I guess they need the exercise. Come, come, where's the girl's picture? Oh, uh... Come in. Oh, Miss Graves, here's some company to see you. Tell them to park the body. I'll be out in a minute. Okay, kids. What do you do? Rest your hands and face. Take it easy. Why, Sally? Hello, Doc. What are you doing in New York? Well, didn't you get my telegram? Why, no. Well, I sent it to your apartment, and I went there directly from the station. The landlord told me I'd find you here, so I came. Well, I, I have a taxi waiting. I didn't have enough money to pay the man. Oh, now it commences. Well, I hope you don't mind. Oh, it's okay. Come on, let's go home. All right. Here, cowboy, get your meter for you. Hey, what is this? Old home week? Peggy, meet my little cousin Sally from the country bike cracking. Oh, all where the frost is on the pudding. And the hay is in your hair. How'd you do? I'm so pleased to meet you. Make yourself comfortable, Sally. Thanks. Didn't the costumer come to pick up that dress? Oh, he'll be around tonight. Tell me, Sally, what the world brought you to New York? Well, you see, Doc, things were pretty bad back on the farm. And I just had to do something to help out. Honey, I don't want to discourage you. But there's owls and girls in New York for every job. You'd be better off back home. Oh, no. I'm not going back home. I'm going to stay up here and fight it out. Yeah, I need to break up this family reunion. But Joan expects us upstairs for bridge. Oh, I nearly forgot. Honey, don't wait up for us. Good night, Chris. And by the way, if that costumer gets here, give him that dress. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a nice time. Well, Doc. Well, Peggy. I beg your pardon. Uh, could you tell me where the girls are? Well, I think they went upstairs to play bridge. Who shall I say call? Uh, may I introduce myself? Tom Manor is at your window. Oh, I'm, I'm Sally Carr, Dot's cousin. Oh. Say, are you one of those Greenwich Village I've read about? Well, if you call a fellow in the advertising business an artist, yes, I guess I'm guilty. Must be wonderful to paint. No, 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 indeed. It's just a lot of grief and hard work, that's what it is. You know, my boss has ordered me to paint an angel. Well, I'm, I'm in a jam because I can't find her. She's got to be demure and sweet and a picture of lovely innocence. I... Say, you're the girl. 
Oh, but I never. Oh, but, but you only had something to wear. Well, this is the nicest dress that I have. You know, I could just picture you in an old-fashioned gown standing at a window waiting for your sweetheart. Well, there's an old-fashioned dress here and I'll go to a ball. Hey, it's perfect. Hurry up and put it on now, will you? All right. All right. Do you realize that we've been here since 3 o'clock this afternoon? That I've shown you 300 of the most beautiful women in the world. That I've shown you... You haven't shown me anything that's worthy of Worthington's perfume de Moore. When you get something that suggests the purity, the charm, the soft, demure appeal of that incomparable fragrance, phone me. And it had better be soon. Good night. Ah, that's it. Take a look at it. Oh, gee, that's good. <laughs> oh, gee, Sally. Anybody could paint with you for a model. Oh, then you really think I could get a job here like Dot and Peggy? Why, well, you've got one already, or you will have as soon as Joan sees this. And Sally, you, you saved my job for me. Gee, I wish there was some way I could thank you for that. Well, if you really feel that way... Perhaps you'd be willing to show me sometime. Well, I'll show you all of it right now. Hurry up and change your dress and we'll go up on the roof. Oh, Come thank on. you. Well, there it is. Gee, Sally, you know, it always gets me coming up here at night like this. Look, see that building up there? Brooklyn Bridge. Mm -hmm. Gee, it's a beautiful picture. Mm. It's twice as beautiful to me, Sally, as ever was before. <laughs> Throughout each weary day, my goal seemed far away. I thought success and I would never meet. But with my arms around you, I've got New York at my feet. No matter how I try, somehow my dream was never quite complete. But with my arms around me, each lonely night would make me realize that the things were quite beyond my pen. I look into your eyes. Oh, at the fame just became figures of speech. Oh, I'd like to shout and sing that love alone is king. I never knew that life could be so sweet. Oh, with my arms around you, I've got New York at my feet. Throughout each weary day, my goal seemed far away. I thought success and I would never be. But with your arms around me, I've got New York at my feet. No matter how I try, good luck would pass me by. Somehow my dream was never quite complete. But with your arms around me, I've got New York at my feet. Each lonely night would make me realize that good things were quite beyond my reach. Oh, but when I looked into your eyes, well, the name just became figures of speech. Oh, I'd like to shout and sing that love alone is king. I never knew that life could be so sweet. Oh, with my arms around you, I've got New York at my feet. Come in. Hello, big boy. Oh, hello, Doc. How are you? What? Sally, you, you look wonderful. Thanks, Tom. Doc bought this new outfit for me yesterday. Well, it looks well. You promised Sally a job last night. Well, where is it? Well, you see, it's like this. Sally, the boss didn't like the picture. Well, I guess I'll never make a model. Oh, nonsense. What does Joe's know about art? He's only an adding machine. I've got an idea. Perfume de Amour. Sounds very Frenchy. Now, Sally could be a famous French model. Jones might go for her. But I'm not a French model. Oh, that's easy. All you have to do is affect the French accent and act very ooh la la. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but supposing Joan speaks to me in French, then what'll I say? Don't worry, Joan can hardly speak English. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, I love your America. The men, they are so, so, what do you call it? 
Well, in my country, they call it charm. You make me feel much better. I was beginning to think that uh, we were slipping. <laughs> you know, uh, you're just the type we need. We want a French girl to model perfume no more. Oh, pour la l'amour, monsieur. You are too, too divine. Then I get the job? Tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a contract for $100 a week. And that's tops round here. Oh, Miss Smith, uh, draw up a contract for Miss Fifi Lamont, our new French model. Mme. Zell, que vous êtes belle, et votre chapeau est très chic. Moi, je n'ai pas visité Paris depuis cinq années. Well, you see, I've only been here a year. Uh, Miss Smith, uh, what kind of lingo is that? I spoke in French to her, but she doesn't understand it. Oh. None of itself from Mme. eh? So you're French, eh? Oh, but Mr. Joe Dobbins... Get out of here before I forget that I am the gentleman. I've got another idea. Peggy and I are throwing a party tonight. Really? Some of the best models in town will be there. Mm -hmm. And Worthington's coming along also. Yeah? If he can't find a girl there that he likes, he's hopeless. Okay, Doc. You know they can't put you in jail for trying. <laughs> Come on, I'll see you as far as the elevator. Come on, Sally. <laughs> truly represent Parfum de Moore. Then I have it. JP, I'll put on a dress. Maybe I'll be just the type. Well, maybe. Johnny, and now I should like to present Mr. and Mrs. Little Old New York. Oh. Now, if you all be very quiet, I'll ask my little cousin to sing. Every Sunday we'd go roaming, then drive through Central Park and hear the band play in the gloaming. I was so prim, you were so courtly, while you whispered words I loved to hear you say. The years go swiftly, goodness knows, there's airplanes and radios. But in my heart, there'll always be a tender memory. When I was young, and you were handsome, and the horse cars ran up and down Broadway. for Bapium and Demure, just as he is. That's what I want for my poster. J.P., I beat you to it. The poster is all finished and on my desk right now. Get that picture for me right now, Jones. I'm off. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, young lady. You are the new Parfum de Mure girl. I want to thank you for owning my product. Oh, thank you, sir. But the credit really belongs to Tom. Oh. It was his picture. Well, young man, I'll see that you get a substantial raise. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, Sally, everything's wonderful. We're sitting on top of the world. Say, I want to ask you something. Let's get married tonight. That dress can be your wedding gown. No, it won't. Who are you? Yeah, me? As Stuyvesant and Ginsburg, customer the looks My cat. <laughs> yeah, I came to call for my dress. I hired it out to somebody else for tonight. Hey, no, wait a minute. This is wedding gown. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. What? You postpone your wedding till next week, and I'll give it to you at half price. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. I hope you'll be happy without my dress. Uh -huh. 